James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is August 12, 2023, 1 p.m. Central here in the USA. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. If you're looking at Earth's electromagnetic field, we can see some disturbances. They don't look very strong. These disturbances appear to go up to about 100 hertz, and some of them a little bit higher, perhaps up to possibly 200 hertz. But there is something agitating Earth's electromagnetic field. When this usually happens, we see a response from our Schumann resonance. We're going to figure out what's going on today together. All right, this is our Schumann resonance. Now we see spikes that look like they definitely exceeded 50, maybe even 60, maybe even 70 hertz. This is not up to date. This model is lagging by over two hours, although when I show you the six day comparison, it will be up to date. So we see the Schumann resonance started activity around 1400. There was a lull till around 1445 UTC time. Then we had some activity, another lull, and some additional activity here. Please note the geophones up here getting hit for about an hour's time period and then that occurring again or starting to occur again here. Heading over to our Schumann Residence six day comparison. This is the first day in six days we've seen any significant spiking in our Schumann Residence. I definitely check several times a day for everyone. And we can see the activity, like we talked about, started around 1400, had a gap, started again. And this is the activity we couldn't see. You can see some of these spikes are much stronger through here and appear to go off these charts. These charts end at 50 hertz. This has been ongoing for over a two hour period of time. Now we're going to find out exactly what's causing this, what the agitator is, and why the Schumann resonance is spiking so high as of late. Knowing the Schumann resonance was never recorded over 37 hertz until 2017, and since then it's been getting stronger and stronger. All right, looking at our amplitudes, they're also running behind time here. Uh, we were missing several hours, but at least we get to see when it started. And we talked about 13, about 1400. We've had our first significant bounce. And then after that, there was a gap and we've had another bounce here. But we are missing about three hours of data here as well. And the Schumann resonance got stronger at that point. All right, for those of you who don't know, the LHC at CERN had a leak about a month and a half ago, and they've been trying to fix that leak. No beam has been operational in over a month, and you can see a beam is expected in the first half of September down here. Again, cool down in progress, August 9th. So they are, in fact, trying to fix this hole that developed in the LHC and the beams are not operational in any way. The next thing we'll do is we'll look at the space weather. This is our KP indexes. These indicate space weather conditions. We see that we have a geomagnetic disturbance here on our Fredericksburg index, but the rest of them show nothing at all. Uh, very calm space weather from all three other kpx indicators the gist of that is we don't have intense space weather hitting earth currently and if we did it wouldn't be hitting italy because that is currently not sun facing heading over to the modeling center area which is right here and we'll zoom in we in fact do have thunderstorms right there you can see the lightning here indications and i'm going to zoom you in to show you exactly where the modeling center is located there it is right there now we're only seeing the last hour or so now there's a good chance 
that the Schumann residents will cease unless some of these other storms that are coming over the mountains here actually make it. So I do see a lull. What's allowing the Schumann residents to spike with just lightning? We've had lightning our entire lives and for the history of Earth. But again, the Schumann residents never spiked over 37 hertz until 2017 and has been spiking higher and higher each year. I wish these were downloads. I wish it was ascension, but that's not what's going on here. What's actually going on here, ladies and gentlemen, is we're losing our magnetosphere and the cavity of our atmosphere. Now, this is what's called our BZ, and we're negative 3.34 south. So this tells us our magnetic shields are failing. Now, y'all might be able to see these actual small bumps here at about 1630 that go positive, and then another one here just after that. What's so interesting about this is even with the agitator, this time being lightning, during those time periods, we actually don't see the Schumann resonance acting up as much. Let's go take a look. Now, the BZ has gone very far south, and we should, in fact, if the agitator continues, see the activity on the Schumann resonance continue spiking very hard. Back over to our Schumann resonance. Two things to note here. Prior, when the BC was negative, these spikes went higher than usual. Some of them look like they could have gone off the chart. We'll look at the six-day comparison as well. And then there was a lull here when we see the BZ going positive. And then these spikes here would be considered normal. They're really mostly under 30 hertz. Let's take a look at a little bit more information here. Here we can see the little clear right around 1600 UTC time here, 1630 as we saw. We see a lull, at least in intensive spiking. Now we see some spiking in this area while the BZ goes positive, but it's in normal ranges to 20 hertz. As soon as that BZ goes negative again, we get a very large spike and then spikes that seem much stronger than this time period here when the BZ went positive for just a split second. So we've always had lightning, but that is never an agitator large enough to make these Schumann residents spike off the charts. What's happening here is our magnetosphere and our cavity has collapsed and is in the process of collapsing further. I have actually discovered several papers covering this exact topic and the Schumann residence. And what those papers say is that the actual agitator, the lightning, bounces off a much lower part of our atmosphere called the D region when it used to go through the D region into the E or F region before it bounced back and hit the geophones. So what we're seeing with the larger spikes is that agitator, in this case the lightning, hitting the D region, bouncing back to the geophones and spiking harder than we've seen. This will increase in intensity as our magnetosphere and our atmosphere and cavity collapse further. With that said, God bless you and yours. Share, subscribe, and always remember, anything is possible in bizarro world.